Hi, I'm Danny, a student intern at Sports Tech Global, and today I'm joined by Rachel Burford, a highly successful rugby union player for both Harlequins and the England national team. Thanks for joining me today, Rachel. Oh, no, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to speak to you. Um, so my first question for you is, uh, you've had a great successful career in rugby. How would you say the experiences of winning a Rugby World Cup versus winning a Rugby Players Association? Players Association, Player of the Year, a bit of a mouthful to compare. <laughs> Not easy to say. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, winning a personal um, award is always, you know, it's incredible. And it was something that's voted for by the, by peers as well. So I think when you get it, the respect and honour from your peers, it's such an incredible honour um, and something that, you know, I'm very, very proud of. But I don't think I could look past winning the Rugby World Cup with my teammates and that year that led into it and everything that we put into to winning on, on the back of being in two other finals and coming away with two silvers it that was the pinnacle for me it's it's all about the team game and the only reason why you know I get a personal accolade is because of the players around me and so that would that there's no real comparison really winning the rugby world cup is something that you know is something we will all treasure for the rest of our lives and something that was bottled up and we will keep um for years and years and years to come. Yeah, I mean, there's two experiences that I can't really relate to, but I can imagine winning the World Cup for your country with your teammates is a pretty, pretty incredible experience. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah. So my um, second question is, you've competed in elite rugby for over a decade. Um, what are the main developments in women's rugby that you've seen over the time course of your career? I think there's been a number of um, huge developments over the course of my career. I think starting with just the exposure, the, the increased coverage of the game, profile of players, I think has been the biggest increase because I think if I rewind back to my first cap in 2006, we were the Rugby World Cup was being streamed. Um, we was over in Canada. There was very little spectators. Um, very little coverage, you know, newspaper, radio, TV back in England. Um, and then you kind of fast forward to 2014 or even 2017 when the World Cup going on, the magnitude of the the media exposure was so high. Um, I remember in 2014, we had this wall where it just had pictures of all of the newspapers, not pictures, they had printouts and cutouts of all the newspapers, all the coverage that was going on. And this wall was just getting crowded and crowded. And I mean, like a massive ballroom team room. So I think, you know, from... Seeing that growth has been incredible, and and to then flip that, yeah, you know, we're in 2006. Obviously, you're watching the stream. How many viewers did we actually get? And then you fast forward to 2017, where we hit record numbers of, you know, I think it was like 2.6 million just for the French semi-final game in England versus England. So I think you know that whole exposure. The other side of things is you know just investment, sponsorship. The the we've got now professional contracts available in certain countries that we're not there yet of everyone but I think the other big part is the investment into the domestic league in order to be able to continue to have a pathway to grow the international game is, is really really critical and um, so I think they're probably the, the biggest areas that I've seen in growth. It's great to see there's development happening and it's kind of I've noticed the exposure myself just as a watcher of sports you can, you've seen it's just more of a limelight with rugby which is great. Um, and finally, um, as the founder of the Girls Rugby Club, what is the organisation and what are the organisation's main aims? Yeah, so we founded the Girls Rugby Club um, uh, late last year during COVID time. So something good came out of COVID for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the idea of the Girls Rugby Club is we want to create pathways for young girls into the game at, from the age of seven all the way up into elite um, and kind of go to areas where it's needed that we can plug you know, pathways or create opportunities for young girls to, to see that this is accessible for them and an opportunity for them. Um, but we're, we're very female-centric approach. So that's the other side of it, is that we really want to look into, you know, what does the female rugby player need? Not let's carbon copy what a male rugby player does and you and needs and his training. And let's look at the female makeup and, and how we can really support girls growing up in, in the sport. Um, and I guess encompassing that is kind of we want to have, be this platform that we can share knowledge, resources, that we can put information all into one place and really be this one hub for women and girls rugby to, you know, if you need to find out information about, you know, we've got some female players who 
want to have children well how do they get back from having children to to their best perform let's be that platform that allows all those kind of areas to be spoken about um so yeah it's kind of it's quite a big ambitious aims that we've got but we really want to be you know a global um business we want to be able to go across the world with this and really showcase the game and, and create opportunities for young girls wherever they are yeah i guess i hadn't really realized how important it is to have that tailored approach um because there's just are uh, different variables and I guess there's no one really more experienced in the women's game than you are. So um, great that you you can lead and help uh, younger girls kind of reach a kind of career that you've had. Thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. It's been a pleasure um, to be with you and I'm really looking forward to, to working with you guys at the Sport Tech Global Conference later in the year. Great to have you on board. Uh, have a great day.